All the way through junior high and uh, high school. Long time assistant coach, but new head coach Michael Jackson, who I had the privilege of coaching his senior year. And uh, coach, uh, this is a fast paced uh, offense. According to Coach Jackson, they're running a play every 13, 14 seconds. Well, you know, I believe I know a guy that tried to bring a spread offense to the tri-state area. And, and I think I might be looking at him. <laughs> well, uh, that's one thing that I'm just super proud of was the fact that we were able to, to implement what we wanted to do and how everybody – all the players, the coaches, the fans, they all bought into it. They loved it. It was exciting. And we had tremendous su success our first But years. you also had players that could do it. Yes, that's the key. But you have to buy in. You can't, you know, it, that Woody Hayes football had, had lasted long enough. And uh, it was time to spread it out and take advantage of the athletes you had. And uh, Michael was a tremendous quarterback, and we had tremendous receivers. Had a great running back, and Bill Cummings. And uh, I mean, they were athletes. Bill just not only ran the ball, but he threw it. He kicked punted, it. He kicked How it. long he was that one? He kicked field it. Goals, Forty-four well, yards. Uh, you knew which one I was talking about. Tulsa. Yes. I got to got you good at that overtime. game. That's the first overtime game I was ever involved in, and, and uh, they they did. They were all yelling, watch the fake, watch the fake. <laughs> I knew they you were kicking They didn't realize it. we had a guy that could kick it from that far. And, uh, boy, he put it right through it. It was a low-line drive, too. It, uh, it only cleared the crossbar about three or four feet. But, but that, guess that what? It cleared heck. it, and we won that game. Yes, we did. And it's tough to do over in Tulsa. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. I had – the last year I coached, we were 3-0 and and going over to Tulsa. And – we clearly had the better team, but there were some things that had happened out there. One of their longtime sports had died, and those, their, their kids played uh, played very inspired, and we played very uninspired, and they ended up beating us. And it's always tough playing out there. I didn't like that field. <laughs> you didn't like the rocks in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it was like coal dust, man. Hey, I personally liked out Tulsa. This is what I like about Tulsa. If you looked on top of the hill, people had made their homemade benches. And they were up there doing what they were doing, watching the football game. How they used to have some guys sitting over there in the, in the trailer park. They used to sit up on a platform and watch the games. <laughs> hey, you got to do what you got to do. You know, it's a Wrigley Field, baby. That's right. <laughs> Tonight, I'm not sure whether there will be any uh, – Kicking off or punts. I think foundation game, they're basically going to be dead dead kicks, yeah. dead punts. I mean, you can punt. And you, you Extra can points off, are dead. You, yeah. yeah. But they don't rush the kicker. The kids really don't block. It's just a snap and a kick. Right. Wherever the ball's caught, that's where it'll be placed. Usually they start things out on about the 30. I don't know. Well, I just have to wait and see how things unfold. I think the coaches get to kind of choose what they want to do. But most of the time, all the kicking is dead. And, Coach, uh, walking across the field, we got a new band director out here, Chris Shoes, Chris replaced Shoes. Mr. Keith Carper. Right. And we have the new cross-country coaches, Phil and Sarah. Dara. Dara. Dara, Dara Snyder. Dara. I'm sorry, Dara. Yes. Well, I tell you, I, I wanted to give out a shout out to Keith. You know, had forty plus years, and guess what? He, he retired, but he didn't retire. I know. I saw that today. Hey, he took a job he, as a Huntington East Middle School band director. Band By director. golly, he'll he'll do a great job. Over yeah, there. he will. He won't have to show up on. Well, I don't know. He probably will show up, but I don't. He doesn't have to on Friday night. Oh uh, well, his wife is still. I believe doing her thing up at Cabell Midland, so I'm sure he's going to be spending some evenings with Julie out. Uh, well, uh, Cabell Midland is permission tonight. They're going to travel down to 
Johnson Central. That's a that'll be a good scrimmage. That's point. a that's a tough one. You know, Coach Matney passed away down there a couple of years right. ago. They still got the ball rolling, and they're they're one of the premier teams in Kentucky. Right, year we in year we out. We played them every year in the last game of the year, and it was, I think, uh, I, I remember us beating them once, maybe twice. They're very tough. Well, they're a huge school coach. Yes, yeah, they're uh, down there. They're four A. Oh, they might they might even be 5A now. Didn't they change their classifications down there in Kentucky? I thought they reclassified. I thought they moved uh, They up, might I, have. I know that Ashland fell down to 3A. We were 5A one time. We had to play Highlands. Oh, my. You talk about a, a football team. They were able, they, they did a lot of recruiting in Cincinnati and places like that. So. Coach, but I don't know how big it is. Oh, I believe that's what we're doing. We'll take a break and come right back. Yes. Singer. Yeah. Don't sound too bad for just 20 strong out there. Well, there's not a whole lot of them out there, but they're gonna, they'll, Coach, they'll get better, and Mr. Shield will. Get more kids in as we go and build the band. That's what you call uh, developing a program. That's right. It doesn't matter if you're in a band or you're coaching football. you got to build the program. I understand it. I think Michael told me that they had about 45 out there for football. It's, good, it's a good number for that. That is a great number to start with. I think one of those years, didn't you have about 60? Wasn't it close, close, close to 60, if I remember correctly? We had a bunch. Well, I'm just going to say this. Your memory's a lot better than mine. <laughs> well, you had a lot. I, yeah. I Last year, I know, coaching, I had 29. I started with 29 and ended with 29. That's kind of hard to do. Good, that is a good sign right there when you end with as many as you start. Well, Coach, the field looks good. Yeah, Mike, Mike has spent a lot of time on it. He's... He was working on this thing before he was hired. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. So got the scoreboard to... running. Yeah, they opened up the press box here. We got a little air. Oh, moving. Hey, we got air <laughs> condition and hey folks at home, we have got some surprises for you. It won't be this week, but our first home game we're you're going to actually look at the codgers. We're going to have a camera in here, and we're going to have some other cameras out on the field. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised, and I think you're going to enjoy it. They're going to they're going to put anything on this here, or they're going to leave it like it is. We got new. I don't know, uh, Coach. Press I, maybe you tell them by home. We've we this press you know this oh. press box. We've got a whole new whole new look. Oh they, yeah. They've uh, only. 
They only have walls in the uh, two areas where the coaching staff will be, which is a plus sometimes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm thinking about signing the Codgers. <laughs> <laughs> reserved for the codger. Hey, everybody knows where our box is at. You know, they might put a little banner underneath this coach on the windows and put <laughs> the codgers out there. I've heard that that might happen, so we'll wow. see. Hey, right, coach, let's talk a little bit about Milford. Milford, I, right. I, mean, I think they finished. I think they finished pretty strong last year. Yeah, the head coach is Jess Ruby. Um. I remember I went down and watched the foundation game at Memphis because they alternate sites every year. And uh, just let me know, what exactly is the foundation game? Is it? I mean, I know it's not an official football game. I don't know. It's, game, it started, it's actually, kind of, Coach, when I was coaching. Ohio High School Athletic Association. It's, it's a thing to support. Sponsor. I don't remember what it, what it is supporting now. And it might change from year to year. I mean, we played a game during the year. I know when I was coaching, it was the it was the Susan Coleman game, and it was a cancer game. Oh, really? And all the money raised, I know, then went to went to cancer research. So I don't know, but he's got he's got quite a few. Uh, yes, he's got a big roster here, coach. You know, he's got quite a few, but they've always had good turnout. The thing Seven, I remember, seventy seven, seventy seven. No, that's just no. That was a number. Uh, Ten. They got about they 42, about, 43. Right, and the Dragons have about 45, I think. Let's see. Uh, Ten. Twenty. And Coach, yeah, I noticed 45. on his, one of his assistant coaches is Trey Wilds, which we called a lot of games. Uh, Trey Wilds played out Rock Hill. Right, I remember their name. Bob and, uh, Wilds was uh, co one of the coaches out there. Yep. And we got, I believe, assistant coach Eli Daniels. That might be Brett Daniels' son. Brett was the coach down there when, when I was coaching. So I think I think that's his son. I could be wrong. So if somebody wants to correct me, they can. He has ten assistant coaches. Uh, you did it with three, and I did two. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, Actually. My. Let's see, and Danny Casey, and uh, uh, Brian Moore, and Chris Smith, Chris first Smith, year. and uh, McKnight. That's true. Killer and Earp. Killer and Earp, and that was it. And, and you had you, two. You had two had great the, scouts. I guess I you. did. Yes, I did. You can't do it without them. You know, people don't understand how much. The supporting staff means to your football program. You're going to have people willing to scout, people willing to work on the field. Uh, you know, we've talked about this before, but one of my favorite things is on Thursday nights I out loved here. It. Loved it. Out here painting this field. Just, you know me and you're going to have to come out one Thursday night. Well, let's make let's do it. Let's come yeah. out and help them. Old, good old days. Yeah. Just make sure they put a string out for us. Yeah. It's got to be a pretty wide <laughs> string for us to see while we – I tell you, I hated that first game because we had to find the corners and there were pegs in the ground. And But once you get it done, the first game, it's a piece of cake for us at the time. Not nearly a piece of cake, but a lot easier, I'll say, to line the field. Those are good times, Coach. Yeah. That's the thing I miss most about coaching. It's camaraderie. Yes, the coach's office, Thursday nights. You know, you just mentioned the coach's office. We can't tell about all those crazy things <laughs> that happened in that coach's well, office. Well, Lots of Ward fun. Well, anyway, he, he tells everybody. Hey, I got to give Coach Ward over a shout out. You know, he's pro, pro, one of the program directors out the uh, vocational school, Collins Career Center. Oh, and he's and, got uh, a $3 million budget now. Well, you know that the crew out there fixed my truck for me. Oh, yeah, I was going to so ask got, about your took new nine truck. Months. You know, it, it's like a new one. Oh, it looks good. It really does, and I appreciate all those guys. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a post and send some pictures out and show those guys. I mean, they did a fantastic did you park? job. Did you work? You did, did, didn't oh. drive it tonight. Well, did I didn't you? want to drive the parking lot and get it bumped. Come on, coach. I drove I was the hot looking rod. For it. Hey, I drove the hot rod Honda tonight. Yeah. That thing will get down the road too. You know, coach, I'm at school doing parking passes, and I look down through there, and 
I'll tell everyone those kids that come in and say, well, said you drive a new, newer car than I do. Yeah, I bet uh, all of them do between me and you. Yep. Mine's 20 years old. Uh, mine's 1999. So uh, oh, do the you math got me. on. Do you the math me. on that. Hey, you've ridden in. You've ridden in the race Honda, the rice burner. Yeah, I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about that truck. Oh, what, what year is that? That's a 04. You got me a year. Oh, but it's pretty. <laughs> I, I mean, bet. It, no, it looks good. I'm. I'm not I gonna kid you. It's, pull up a picture there and show. Yeah, me. I'll whip you out a picture here. That, I'm. I'm telling you, they really did it. They really did a good job out there at Collins, and you know. Coach, we talk about trades. There's a lot of people think that every kid needs to go to college and no do this way. to be successful. I'm, I but, push vocational school. But you get a trade. Look at that, Coach. Oh, man. That is sweet. That's a royal blue there, brother. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful color. Made for king. Oh, you know it. <laughs> beautiful. That is really nice. And they did a really good job. I'm, you know, I'm happy I, t I took it. Took it to the beach twice this summer and ran like a top and looked good. And well, uh, we've got about uh, a little under three minutes before we get this thing started. Beautiful night tonight. No threat of rain, according to the Weather Channel. It's going to be fairly cool. 64, I think, is going to be the low. Bright sun, sunshine right now. And here come the dragons. They're coming through the, the inflated dragon down there, and led by the cheerleaders. Who is the cheerleading director? I forget her name. The same one? I believe Maureen Stitt, I believe. I, you know what? That's pretty sad. I don't even know. We're, we'll find out well, before the next game. And, you well, know, I talked to Mr. Shu, and I said, you remember last year at Galpolis, we gave all the band members names and right. what you're they did. Have, you're going to have to get on the up and up. You're going to be the new assistant principal, by the way. Congratulations. Hey, well, thank you. I, you just don't realize. And people, <laughs> you know, you, I taught for 32 years, but you – go into the office and it is a completely different animal and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna tell you this right now I'm gonna brag on my boss Tessa Lee I, I had her in class 20 some years ago Wow and knew she was smart but let me tell you I have watched her over the last two weeks the amount of knowledge and the stuff that she does blows my mind that's great that's I mean just really we're lucky to have her we really are yeah, we almost lost her. I think uh, she was up for the iron job and she turned it down. Yep, she decided to come back. And I'm glad she did. Yeah, she's got a daughter that's a sophomore this year. Plays basketball. And and she she hurt her leg, so she's oh, yeah, playing volleyball. She, she hurt her leg, so she's out for a little bit. I don't know exactly how long. But anyway, it's, it's a change, Coach, definitely. Well, it looks like they are going to kick off. Mifford. I think it'll be a dead the, kick. The uh, north end of the field is going to kick off. Now, whether they're going to have live action after the kick, we'll see. Back deep for the Dragons, number one, familiar face, Cam Kitt. And number 10, Bryson Hunt. In the middle, Jack Hayden. Hey, Coach, we've got some really good skill athletes out there. I'm glad to see that uh, Will Davis is on the team this year. He's very athletic. I think yeah. this is his first year ever playing, Coach. Yeah, he's number 17. Standing down here on the sidelines. Kicking off. There's, uh, who's that, number 20? Remember. Yeah, I think got to move up five, fellas. Number 21. That's Gavin Downey. What did they do there? To let it go? 
Yeah, there's starts at 25, I think. 25. Or, let's see. They're going to put it down at the 30 yard line, coach, I think. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yes. The Dragons start at the 30 yard line. Quarterback. Number 12, Peyton Jackson. Peyton in his fourth year as a starter. The son of and head coach. Coach Michael. scoreboard went off. Already? <laughs> <laughs> well, the Dragons will come out in trips to the left. You're going to have Keegan Smith. Bryson Hunt. Jack Hayden, number seven, all by himself on the right, Christian Collins. Set back in the backfield, number one, Cam Kitts. To the left of Jackson. I'm anxious to watch it. You're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to stay with it, man, if they're running plays every 13, 14 seconds. Jackson takes a snap, sprints out to his left. He's looking and he found Bryson Hunt for about a nine yard gain. All the way up to the 39-yard line. It'll be second down and one. There they are on the ball again. The coaches of defense just really snap. wears you out. And Cam Kitts one, two, takes it for about another 10-yard gain, 11-yard gain. Two, two, It'll be a first down for the Dragons. One, two, three, four, and Menford territory at their 49 yard line. Jackson takes a snap again, hands off again to. Ooh. Wow. Cam Kitts just laid the wood. And a solid five yard gain. Brings up second down at five. Dragons in their hurry up offense. This time they're going to hand off. And it's going to be a fumble. And the Dragons have lost the ball. That's number 21, Quentin Cremains. And a good chunk of yardage there, about another 10 yards. And he was hit hard there, but I think by number 27, Mason Book. And jarred it loose. And coach, you got to you got to take care of the football. So good lesson for him, ball security. You can't do that next week when the season starts. And the Dragons will be in their three-four defense on the nose. Number sixty-one, Spencer Blevins, trips to the right for Memphis. The quarterback, number two, is Peyton Cottle. And there's a fumble on the play. And the Dragons have come up with that. Number 13, Kagan Smith on the first play of their initial series. Memphis turns it right back over to the Dragons at the Memphis 30 yard line. Turnovers, turnovers, coach. Trips to the left again. Kits to the right side of Jackson. Jackson drops, looks. He's got Kits wide open, and it's off his fingertips. Wide open down the right side. Just a little bit too long. And coach, they had Kits double covered. He just outran them. I don't know if you saw that or not. Speed kills, brother. Same set. This time, Cremains is in. Jackson steps back again. Looks like he's going to be sacked this time for about a seven-yard loss. We'll have to call that a coverage sack, Coach. He had plenty of time. Uh, that was good, the coverage downfield by Memphis yep. that time. There's nobody open. Trips to the left again. Cremains to the left side of Jackson. He steps back. Look, look. And that ball is tipped in the air, and it's intercepted. 
Three possessions, three turnovers, coach. Number 26, Trent Scaff on the interception. Ball was on the money, coach. Hit him right in the hands, went straight up in the air and was intercepted. So that's three turnovers in the last four plays. Two by the Dragons and one by Memphis. Memphis comes out, trips to the right. Quarterback Peyton Cottle. And then the uh, pistol behind him. That's number 36. And they try to run a little curl there. Ooh, oh, number 27, Mason Book. It falls incomplete. Bring up second down 10. For the Falcons. This time we have twin receivers, right and left. Randall Shrek behind Cottle. He sprints out to his right. He's going to tuck it and go and run out of bounds after about a four, three, four yard, looks like a three yard game. Game three, third down seven. Will Calico ran him out of bounds, number 52 for the Dragons. Garrett Cornwell, defensive end on the left side. Number 11 is Tristan Daly on the right side. Here's the pass, post pattern, intended for number 14, Bryson McQuaid. So that's gonna bring up fourth down and seven. We'll probably see a uh, dead punt and we'll snap it and kick it, but there'll probably be no rush by the defense and no blocking by the offense and wherever the ball's caught is where they'll start. Back to punt, number 26, Trenton Scalf. I guess who does all the kicking for Looks the Falcons. Like Left foot of punter, nice kick. Under it is number 10. That's Bryson Hunt. And they're gonna start at the 30 yard line. So we have eight minutes and 58 seconds left here in the first quarter, no score. Dragons will take over for the third possession of the quarter. Memphis in a four, one set. Coming off tackle again. For means this time, you notice he had two hands on that football this time, Coach. Uh, <laughs> young Coach, a number five has been on the receiving end of two pretty good licks. One from Cam Kitts and one from Quentin right there. Hand off again. There's a hole and there's a first down. About a gain of eight yards. Quentin for means. The Dragons in this hurry up offense. Dylan Stone's the new center for the Dragons. Jackson stepped back, run out. There's a long pass down to uh, Bryson Hunt. He caught that one just in bounds and then stepped out at about the 22 yard line. So the Dragons are threatening. Jackson takes a snap. He hands off again for Means. There's a hole. He's got about five, six, seven. Seven yards on that carry. We're chunking them right now, Coach. I, like I said, we've got good skill players. Well, I see that uh, the Stewart boys back out there to tackle. There's a little trap play. Yeah, we pulled two guys that time. Picks up five on the play. 
And Cam Kitts comes in now. We've got a quick hitter out here, number 13. We've got a flag. Egan Smith caught it and got all the way down to one, but we got a flag. It's probably going to be a hold in the area of holding Probably this. The and that's going to bring up second down and 10 or 20. You know what, Coach? Or first down and 20. I, I don't think this hurts us. You want to know why? Gives you a little more room. Well, in there you go. I mean, that gives you a lot more room. 10-yard penalty. We're going to put up first and 20. Line. Dragons trips left again. See, Will Davis is out there now, Coach. Now we're going to run a little, oh, a little fade pattern to the right. Jackson to Keegan Smith. Keegan Smith hauls it in just inside the right sideline in the end zone for the Dragons. <laughs> Well, I, I wish my earphone here was working and I had those ears covered. <laughs> I was going to say, when I see Ward get up out of that chair, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kick and it is no good. <laughs> what was that a kick down? Was that Peyton? I wouldn't, you know what, well, Coach? I was sitting here looking at the back of Coach Ward. See if it was gonna Peyton? Honk that horn Jackson. again. The Dragons lead with 7.39 to go here in the first quarter. Dragons lead 6-0. And Coach, look at those nice graphics we got going. Doug Morris over here from Armstrong Neighborhood Channel taking care of all of our graphics tonight. Hey, he's a do-it-all. He can do it all. So, Coach, we, well, I hear that when we get back here in two weeks, we're going to have a monitor so we can watch what Doug does so you and I aren't, you know, calling wrong numbers, but we'll be able to see him just like the folks at home. Great. They have done nothing but make us better each week. Oh, <laughs> you know, Coach, the technology and the things that they've got in store for you folks at home is – Unbelievable. I'll, I'll, and I'll tell you, Coach Gorby and Jerry Bell have really, really worked hard to try to improve this, everything for the school channel from, right. you know, from all the sports to. I think it might have been Bryson Hunt that uh, missed that extra point kick. He's kicking off here. I don't know. He's kicking left-footed. Hey, we'll Whoever watch on the next up. one. Yeah. That was a right-footed kicker who kicked the last one. Wasn't it? We'll get our act together here for too long. There's a kick. It's short, and it's caught up around the 36, 37-yard line. So, Coach, it's been nine months about pretty much since we've done Well, no, probably longer than that, hasn't it? Football? Every yeah. bit of it. Been uh, since November? I know. What game we called on the last one? West Kingdom going to beat us in overtime. That's right. I did do a baseball game this year with Coach Gorby. Did you? Yeah. Well, I know Brian does baseball games, softball games. They're going to start at the 30, even though that kick. we got a blocking back back there now. Twins to the left. We're going to hand off number 36. Oh, that ball is fumbled. And I think it's recovered by the quarterback. Recovered by Cottle. That's Peyton Cottle. Jumped on that. Loss of four brings up second down and 14. Brings up second down and 14 with a four yard loss. I got the same set that time, blocking back behind the left guard. There's the snap, hand off, and he's met. Ooh, 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 Will Calico came in and cleaned that up. He didn't have the initial hit, but he had the one that redirected him. I think 
They, Quentin Carmines was there too. I think Quentin uh, had the initial hit, but you know, we'll, we'll put him on his back. Well, Coach, for as long as I can remember, even when I was in school, Farrell was known that they'd put a lick on you. They'd well, hit that's you. what you like to see. You have to be physical on defense, and um, they got a new defensive coordinator who was once their defensive coordinator that played for me as well, Mr. Mark Hinkle. They called the defense. I guess uh, Michael begged him out of retirement. Well, I think uh, I think he wanted to coach all along. And a new nose guard went in there, number 73. That's Elias Blankenship. Dragons in their 3-4. Dropping back is Cottle. He's looking. He finds number 11. He's got the reception, and he gains about 16 yards on the play. That's going to bring up fourth down and four. And Memphis elects to punt. Dragons send in their punt receiving crew. Back to punt it, Trenton Scalf. Deep for the Dragons. Number 10, Bryson Hunt, left footed kicker. Kicks another one high. And Boy, that's a nice coming punt, Coach. At, yes. Those are good coverage punts. Very high. That punt was probably about 40 yards or so, Coach. And Dragon's going to start inside the 30 at the 26 yard line. Coach, we finally got the scoreboard back working. Coach yeah. Ward and Mr. Eddie Marshall down there working their magic. Dragons trips right this time. Will Davis by himself on the left. We're going to run a little screen. A little swing pattern. Out to Cam Kitts. He's going to get a minimal game of about three yards. Maybe just two. Two yards brings up second down and eight. Same set, Dragons on the ball quickly. Jackson takes a snap, looks. He's got Davis out there, and Davis is going to the house. First reception for that young man is a 72-yard touchdown. <laughs> I didn't see him get up, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go unplug that daggone thing. <laughs> Oh, that's great for that young man. First catch, 72-yard touchdown reception. And they're not all that easy. I hope he doesn't think they are. No, no. Uh, Michael told me he's just learning to catch the ball with his hands. He made a great catch there, and he just turned the Jets on and left them sitting. Going for two, and Jackson overthrows. Jack Hayden in the end zone. So the Dragons with 4.36 to go in the first quarter lead 12 to nothing over the mighty Memphis Falcons. Okay, Boz. <laughs> no, that wasn't Boz. That was... Uh, uh, I thought it was Boz Johnson I used to say. No, that. no, no, no. Bob Bowen. Was it Bob Bowen? Yes, he was the sports announcer. Yeah, uh, he. I remember him always. He always used to say. He that. always said the mighty Memphis Falcons. That's where I got that. <laughs> where did I get Boz Johnson from? Well, he's uh, he's still now. Uh, Boz is uh, the guy that does the morning news. That was his dad. Rob, Rob Johnson's dad. Yep.
Kicking off again for the Dragons. Number 10, Bryson Hunt. Approach. This time he gets a better kickoff. This one goes down to about the 10-yard line. And it's fielded in there by number 27, Mason Book. And uh, he'll bring it out to the 30. Coach, we'll get us a roster of cheerleaders next week, and we'll be able to tell you who all they are and the folks at home. And by the way, folks at home, y'all, thanks for tuning in and watching. Yep. The Dragons are all up close to the line of scrimmage. Now the linebacker's back off. Hand the ball. No, they faked it. And trying to hit Book out there in the right flat, but that pass falls incomplete. It'll bring up second down 10 for the Falcons. By the way, Coach, we, we talked about Chris Smith, and I know he hates to uh, his name mentioned. He doesn't like his picture in the paper. Or, but Chris, buddy. Congratulations, he's a new principal down at Cole Grove High School. Is that right? Yes, he I is. didn't know that. Congratulations, Chris Smith. Fine young man. There's a fake handoff, and Cottle, he's running free right now. But he's tripped up oh, finally by Kitts after a 25 yard gain. Let's bring it out to the Dragon 45 yard line. It's the most. Uh, Positive yardage that the Falcons have. Book's got some wheels, or uh, Cottle's got some wheels. Yes, he does. Trips to the left. We're going to swing one out here to Book. He's caught it. Oh, he avoids his the the tackle, but over to knock him out of bounds. Yeah, number yeah, 10, Bryson down. Hunt. That's another about a 12-yard gain. It's going to bring up a first down for the Falcons. Coach, you realize, you know, their quarterback, Peyton Cottle, he's only he's only a 10th grader. He's sophomore. Oh, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's pretty poised. He's done a good job this drive. Twins right and left. Scalp in behind. And in to make the sack on Cottle is number 11, Tristan Daly. That's going to be about an eight yard loss. Make it 10 yard loss. Ah, they moved it up a yard. Ah, let's call it a nine yard loss. They bring up second down 19 for the Falcons. And Coach Tristan looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Boy, he, he got there quickly. He's a right defensive end. Cottle's back again. He's looking for number 12, and he found him. And he's going to be brought down there by number uh, I think that was uh, Jack Hayden on the tackle. Yes, number three. Coach, that's a nice little square in pattern across the middle. Right, hit him right in the numbers. He's up third down, seven yards to go. Cottle uh, did a nice job uh, avoiding the pressure there. Found his man wide open over the middle. Trips to the left, single receiver right. Scalp in the... All right. Uh-oh, they got him this time. That's number 70. Garrett Cornwell on 
the sack and brings up the fourth down and 12 yards to go. And Coach, that was a coverage sack right there. Right. Secondary had everybody covered and guys up front didn't give him enough time. And, and it looks like they're going to send in the punting unit. Well, I'll tell you what, they punted twice and I think their punter's pretty daggone good. Let's yes. see if he can, if, see if he can hit the see, coffin corner uh, down here. He is a 10th grader as well. Number 26, Trenton Scalf. Well, Coach, if you look, they're a pretty young team. Yes, I don't see a whole lot of 12s down there. Another nice kick. Oh, that is a nice, look at that. Uh, he put that thing down to one yard line that bounced in the end zone, so the Dragons will take over end probably end on the, at the 30 yard, yard line. Up to 20 or, I don't know how they're gonna do this. They're gonna move it up to the 30. I think we'll give him a water break. Yeah, they should. 105 left in the first. Using this time of year, coach, you see a lot of cramps and stuff like that. So they need to take these, these water breaks seriously and go with as much water as they can. Well, conditioning's a big part of football. Well, so far, both teams have uh, seemed to be in pretty good shape. But I know it's still early. We'll see what happens here in the third and fourth quarter. And I don't know if they'll, what they'll do if, uh, you know, the JVs will play the second half. Or... I don't know. I, I imagine they'll play at least a quarter, you would think. Dragons will come out and trips to the right. We've got Collins, Hayden, and there's that little hitch pattern to Jack Hayden for about a five yard gain. Ball will be placed at the 25 yard line. Same set. This time we're going to run a little quick hitter to Christian Collins. And he's got about 10 on the play. Make it 12. That'll bring up the first down for the Dragons. Ball resting at their own 37 yard line. Quickly on the ball again. This time we're going, ooh. Had him wide open, number 13. That's Keegan Smith. Hit him right in the hands. Got to catch that one, Coach. I think Keegan was uh, looking ahead. Heard the footsteps? That's what I think. <laughs> Quickly on the ball again. Jackson, he's looking, he's going deep this time, but that's overthrown. Yeah, on the coverage, the number 21, Gavin Downey. And that's going to be the quarter, Coach. Yes, sir. And your score after one complete quarter of play, Fairland Dragons 12, Memphis Falcons zero. Coach, just take a minute. Let's get us a drink. Okay. We'll be right back in a minute. All righty. Okay, the Dragons are going to switch sides now. They're moving from the north side to the south side, and they'll be moving from right to left on your screen. This time they come out and trips left. Jackson takes a snap. He's looking. He fakes it, turns it up, and he's going to get about nine yards on the carry. 
Now we got a little scuffle going on over there. And there's flags. Oh, my gosh, flags everywhere. I see five flags on the field, Coach. Yeah, make it. Uh, Coach Gorby's out there pretty quick, our athletic director. <laughs> I don't know, I'm wondering where my little buddy Rusty is. He was supposed to show up this evening. No. Well, he's over there on the chains. I don't know what they're going to do here. <laughs> well, there's a lot of hankies yeah, laying out. Yeah, a lot of laundry laying out there right now, Coach. Officials are gathered together and I don't know who that young man is out there with him. I don't know. That might be their head coach, Jess Ruby. And here comes the referee, and he's going to let us know what's happening. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike against the Dragons. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike against the Falcons. So we're going to have offset. That will bring up. The ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against the Dragons and the Falcons. And extra unsportsmanlike conduct against the Dragons. I don't know what we're, we're going to do here. I think they're, I think two, one of them's going to offset, and then they're going to take another one on the Dragons and take us back. They have two the unsportsmanlike on the Dragons. So it's going to march it back 15 yards, and it'll bring up uh, second down. I think I just flipped it over to four. There's no way. That was first down, wasn't it? No, that was, well, I don't know. That was. It won't be loss of down. No, shouldn't have been. Coach Jackson out there now. Two unsportsman likes on the Dragons, and it does bring up fourth down. So what was was it third down? Well, I seen the three on the uh, down marker, and then the guy flipped it over as he walked back. But the Dragons are sending out the punting unit. Punting for the Dragons will be Bryson Hunt. Well, they got nine seconds to get the playoff. Five. There's the snap and the kick. Low end over end and it's caught. But it dropped right there at the 35 by Book. The Falcons will take over on their 36 yard line. And Coach, I'm looking at Menford, and you know, used to think about Menford. I remember they always had really, really, rig, really, really big lines. They don't look as big as they normally do. Uh, 75 and 76 look to be the two biggest boys I've seen out there. Falcons are going to be in trips left. And single receiver right. Linebackers for the Dragons. Will Calicote, 52, 57 is Ryan Dixon. You're talking about a kid put together. Whoa. Seeing him? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a, he's a stud. Lucas Bumpus and Quentin Cremines. There's a pass. Oh, out. About a nice little comeback, Coach. That pass was intended for Bryson McQuaid, caught by him for about an uh, eight yard gain to bring up second down and two. In the secondary, we have Keegan Smith, Camp Kitts, Bryson Hunt. 
and Jack Hayden. There's another pass. A little quick slant to number 12. That's J.D. Mattis. And that is complete for the first down. Coach, they've had some success right there in the hook zone a couple times. They yeah, I like square this, in. A little. I like this Connell kid. He's, he's pretty cool in, here. Yeah. in the uh, pocket, Coach. Same set, trips left. It's time we're going to hand off the fullback, and he's going nowhere. Matter of fact, he's going to be dropped for a two-yard loss. The ball will be sitting right at the 50-yard line. That'll bring up second down and 12. Dragons play pretty tough on the line of scrimmage, Coach. Done a, good job against, done a good job against the run. We really have yes. so far. That, that They back is supposed to be pretty good. I mean, I heard that coming in. Well, he doesn't have five yards yet. I mean, that defensive line's done a good job. They've got twin receivers right and left. Cottle drops back, looks, throwing deep, and it's oh, overthrown. That pass was intended for J.D. Mattis on the coverage for the Dragons, Cam Kitts. And the closest guy to catching that was Cam Kitts. <laughs> You're absolutely right. He did a great job. And right bring there. up third down and 12. Brings up a third down and 11. Memphis going to call timeout. Talk it over. 8.45 left in the second quarter. Dragons have played pretty well since those first two fumbles on the right. And uh, I think it was a fumble and an interception. interception yeah, yeah, they had the other fumble. Right. Coach, what have you done all summer besides uh, golf? I haven't golfed near as much this summer. Uh, I did get to go down to Myrtle Beach to play with Coach Schneider and his son Brent, as, as well as Brian. And uh, so I want to know. That was. I, I, I want to know. But who, I've been on three vacations. I went to Florida. I went to Myrtle Beach twice. And I was supposed to be in Pigeon Forge this weekend, but... Uh, but what it was, you just couldn't resist the I opportunity to come and with, do this tonight. That's right, with my old buddy. This time we've got twin receivers left and one to the right with a setback close to the wing. And it looks like the Dragons are going to blitz. And here it comes. There's a quick... Hitter and uh, Will Calico is all over the receiver Mattis. Or Niles nice McQuaid, number 14. And uh, that's going to bring up fourth down and 11. That's great coverage there. Hey, I'll tell you what, we just, I don't know I'm why just watching this is the first time I've seen them. It's hard to pick up 12 when you run those little I, quick. I know, but we look athletic, Coach. We yep. really do. We, our kids are playing well. I'm really impressed with that front three. The linebackers have played well. And we've got great quickness in the secondary. Back deep, received this punt from Scalf. His, and he hits another good one, but this one's going to hit at the 15, bounce down to the 10, and be picked up there by Bryson Hunt. And I don't know how they're going to do this. The 
And Dragons will take over at their own 10. I haven't seen a huddle yet. <laughs> they come out, they're on the ball, they're ready to go. Trips to the left. Single receiver out wide right is Cam Kitts. Jackson takes a snap. There's a fumble, and he's sacked at the two-yard line. Maybe the three. Like it's going to be about the three-yard line, and that's going to bring up. Uh, that ball's on the five. I'll bring up second down and 15. Jackson looking. Now he tucks it. He hits Hunt over the middle. Hunt is going to be knocked down by number five, Colin Rice, at the 25-yard line. That's plenty enough for the first down. The Dragons quickly on the ball again. Quick out here to Will Davis. He catches it, and he's going to pick a couple up. Bring up second down and eight. Trips to the right this time. We got a quick hitter there to number five. That's C.J. Graham. Number five, C.J. Graham. Brings up third down five. And his first action of the game. Third down five. Jackson rolling out left this time. And he finds Hunt for the necessary yardage to pick up the first down. He's knocked down at the 41-yard line. They'll bring up a first down for the Dragons. Quickly line up on the ball. Jackson takes a snap. Another quick hitter out here to Will Davis. He's down the left sideline, but knocked out of bounds at about the 49-yard line. And that'll bring up second down and two yards to go. Quickly on the ball again. Jackson looking deep. He's got Davis. Davis. Kind of held up there a little bit, Coach. He's got to learn to run through the route. But we did have two guys in the same area. Right. I think it was him and C.J. Graham. Third down and two now. Dragons trips to the right. Jackson rolls out right. He finds Keegan Smith. That's complete for the first down. Nice throw, nice catch. Methodically moving down the field, Coach. Trips right again. It's time Kermeen's to the right side of Jackson. He takes a hand off. He hits off left tackle. He's got plenty of yardage. And he is rumbling, stumbling, bumbling down to the 20-yard line. <laughs> Nice run there by Quentin. Coach, he had both hands on that ball all the way down the yes, field. Yes, he did. He better not fumble again. I think he's been told. <laughs> Falcons are going to call timeout here with five minutes and 31 seconds to go here in the first half. Dragons leading 12 to nothing. That's great blocking up front. They have really gashed them off tackle. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, honestly, they've done a good job pass blocking. Yes. Peyton's had plenty of time to throw. Right. He's been sacked once, and uh, they fumbled down here on the five. But they recovered nicely, and now they're down. It's just about to get in the red zone. Their ball resting on the 21-yard line. I'm impressed by how quickly they get on the ball and whatever kind of signals they're using. But they're, they, they don't seem to be 
Uh, it kind of looks like the Mike Leach offense. Hmm? It looks like the Mike Leach offense, the air raid. You're right, know? exactly. Texas Tech, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Was it Texas Tech? Or? Texas Tech. I mean, he was Washington State. Yes, Washington State as well. Mississippi State. And then he passed. He was a good coach. I liked. I liked to listen to his. Uh, I don't know if you ever listened to his press conferences, but he was funny. He was funny. Jackson takes snap and run the same play off tackle, running hard. Whoa! Mm -hmm. That was Cam Kitts. Ball popped up and it was picked up by Keegan Smith, but the ground cannot cause a fumble, and it definitely came up off the ground. Another same play, Kitts again, and he's in for the score. Man, that's hard running right there, Coach. He really had those feet churning. He, he was not going to be denied. <laughs> Looked like the old uh, Packers tray, counter tray, but they didn't send anybody the other way. They just pulled the guard and the tackle and blocked down and let up. They're going to try to kick this down. No, they're going to move it to the, to the right hash and run a play coach for two. Okay. Going to try to get it to 20 to nothing here. Trips left. Jackson takes a snap, looks, runs a little quick fade, and that ball's knocked away by number 11, Troy Rhodes. Nice play, defensive play there by Rhodes to keep the score. The Dragons, 18, Falcons, nothing. Five minutes and 13 seconds to go in the half. That was a nice drive right there from your own five. Well, you know what they say. A good offense is your best defense. Coach, I don't know how many plays we ran there. We ran several. And, and uh, this drive started on what? Did we start on the 30? We started on the 10, and then they uh, got sacked at the 5. Or, uh, yeah, I think it was a sack at the 5. And so that was a 95-yard touchdown drive. But drags, there's one thing I think the Dragon's going to need, and that is an extra point kicker. Well, I know they have Aiden Miller as a soccer player. I know he's on the roster. Oh, really? He's number 15, but I don't see him down there. Aiden Miller, 15. So I'm not sure. That the, might be the reason why. The soccer team might have a, a game tonight. Could be. I don't, I, I don't know. But I did see Aiden in my office getting his parking pass, so I know that he's at school, but I don't, I don't see him down there on the – I don't see him anywhere down there on the sidelines. You, know, you guys start next Thursday, right? Kids come back next Thursday. Oh, uh, I know. Teachers, You're already teachers there. Come, yeah, I'm already there. Teachers come back on There's a Monday. kickoff by Hunt, and it's taken at the 13-yard line, but they'll probably move it out to the 30. And that's, that's, that's where they're going to start. Dragons look like they're making a few. Number 54 is Ryan McClain. Number 50 is Cooper Charles. They're now on the front line along with Tristan Daly. Still have the same linebackers. And it looks like the same secondary. Dragons in the 3-4. This time we'll have, oh, yeah, we're waiting on number five. We've got twins to the right. We got a tight end this time, coach. He's covered up. And a pass, a short hop by number 12, J.D. Mattis. And uh, that'll be incomplete, second down 10.
Connell rolls out right. It looks like he's going to keep it. He tucks it. And Lucas Bumpus grabs him, knocks him out of bounds. A minimal gain of about two yards. Bring up third down and eight. Make it nine. Now, remember, Coach, Lucas is Big Ron. He's That's Big, big Ron. Big Ron. Yeah, you got to remember that. He's Big Ron. He got uh, he, you know, Big Ron was hurt last year and didn't really get to play. He had a leg injury, right. and he battled that from really from the beginning of the season. So this is his year. He's really getting a chance to play out here this year. Big Ron is a uh, junior, 5'7", 145 pounds. Connell takes a snap, fakes a handoff, and that pass is going to be incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down and nine. Probably see the punting unit. And here they come. Coach, that's a bad pass because he had pressure. He had three guys chasing him. Right. Good pressure that time. Dragons have played well on both sides of the football. So far, they've been pretty impressive, Coach. But uh, other than like I'm, I said. I'm really impressed with uh, the way they run their offense and how quick they run. And that's going to wear on some people by the fourth quarter, I'm telling you. I don't know how I, many plays they've run so far, but they run a ton, and that wears defenses out. This punt is going to hit at the 42. Coming up to take it at the 40 is... Bryson Hunt and the Dragons are starting at their own 40 yard right, line. Uh, three and out for the Fairland defense. And Dragons have come out and trips to the left. One receiver right. That's Collins. In the backfield. Oh, there's a bad snap. Jackson picks it up. Looking to get whatever he can, and he's got free, and he's going to go. Oh, my goodness. What a recovery by Jackson. Wow. Wow. This We got we got laundry on the field. Block in the back. Well, that negated a great play from Peyton Jackson. Well, it sure did. That's going to be a block in the back. No, I think he said, I th did he say that or chop block? Well, he put his hand out like that. Oh, did he? Yeah. I don't know if they're going to go from the where the block occurred. No, they have to take it from where they have to take it from the spot, I think. Yeah, I, I think they're taking it from the line of scrimmage. It's all the way back to the 30. Now they're moving it back to the... Yep, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So it's going to be first down at about 30. Actually, uh, let's right, see. First down at the uh, 21. Yeah, so. Coach, that's almost first in Damaris Street. <laughs> yeah. First and forever. Uh, <laughs> wow. First and 25. This will be impressive. Make it. Ah, uh, they moved it up to the 25 now. So it's going uh, to be, they're going to have to. I think they're going to have to check this again. Well, that was an impressive recovery.
have mercy. You're missing all that fun, Coach. <laughs> yeah. But I'm dry. <laughs> well, that's true. You are. I got a shout out to my children. Sure. Nick's down in Georgia with his wife, Anissa. Isabella was at home. She said she was going to stay there. I believe Bren's working tonight. And of course, I can't forget to give a shout out to that blonde haired beauty and blue eyes, by the way. Yes, she's uh, working at a, uh, she's like a fitness coach or something. Isn't oh, she? yeah, she's doing some other stuff too, but she's. Uh, Brittany, how you doing, honey? Miss Montgomery. So we'll give her, and of course, uh, we got can't forget the kids, Levi, Cheyenne, and River. We can't leave them out. Oh, no. And River's playing uh, football for the team down the road. <laughs> and I had to go to meet the peak last night, and I did not have any purple on. I just want I, you I to did, know. I did see Chuck Wentz's picture on Facebook with that purple shirt on. Yeah, well, Michael like, Hill had some purple on. That looked really weird seeing both of those it. guys in purple. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do for your family, and uh, don't blame them there. But they could have picked a better school. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. We're going to miss you. You oh. notice I didn't. I just said the team down the road. Right. I didn't say what school it was. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to the family. I don't know if Pexter, you finally found this or not. I did send you a link. So you might want to get on your phone, check it out. And then um, the shout out to the, the family down at Pigeon Forge, You're having a good old time. Went to the water park today. Uh, that would be Matt and Ashley Whitley, Keith and Holly Donahue. And the grandkids, Stella Grace, Lola Jean, Cash Harris, Rosie Jacks, and Frankie June. Hope you're all having a good time. And, Coach, since they didn't hear us, tell every folks at home what you've been doing the last two days. Feeding the cats and dogs. There you go. <laughs> and don't forget the Pegster. Oh, I did. Peg just home. had a birthday. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to ask how old she is. That would be rude and inappropriate. But uh, happy birthday, Peggy. Uh, she's the same age as her husband. <laughs> well, he's Except a young guy. I got guy. her he, a few he's months, a, though. He, he's a young guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, both teams have returned to the field, and we're about uh, three minutes. They, give, they put three minutes back up so everybody can get warm again. Sun's finally uh, setting over the hills. we got the lights on the field. Which looks really good. I'm anxious to see uh, this half if he comes out and plays as regulars or if he's going to go with the second unit and give them a little bit of time. Well, I would say if this thing gets out of control, which it's getting real close to, to being, that uh, JV will see some action. So the plans are, everybody, that uh, the old Codgers are going to be down in Portsmouth West next Friday night for the opening game of the regular season. Coach Gorby's playing on a pregame show too, Coach. So we're going to be there for that. You know, I know people at home hate to hear this, but I think you and I are going to have to stop and have a good meal. Uh, we've been there before, haven't we? I believe we have. I think so. Uh yeah, that little place down there called the River. I mean, you and I both hate steak so much. No, that's the only thing I'll eat there. And a few sides. But uh, I'll take the steak over the ribs any time. Who knows, maybe we'll get, Jerry might want to go with us. And... Whatever, but I, I'm telling you right now, I can't eat one of those full steaks. You want to split one? They're only about 32 ounces. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going, if I'm eating at the river, buddy, I'm pegging. Oh, wow. I, want I, may to watch go, that. I may go into coma when we go do the game. Yeah. Steak coma. Hey, we'll take us some Tums and some Gas X, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> okay, we're down to 45 seconds for the second half kickoff. And uh, pretty sure the Dragons will be kicking off. They received the first half kick. 
Coach, I better give a shameless plug to my other employer, Drew and Ann Clark up at Ann, at uh, Oh yeah, up how's, at Clark's the, Farms. How, how's the uh, produce business going? Uh, well, for Florida. me, when I drive about f- over 500 miles a day. Wow. Still uh, going up north, are you? Uh, I'm heading to Canton tomorrow morning. Canton? Early tomorrow morning. So wow. Those people up north love these river tomatoes. So, folks, go up to Clark's Farms. They have all kinds of produce up there. They have tomatoes, cucumbers. Oh, they had some good peaches last week, Coach. Oh, really? Uh, go up and say hi to Drew and Ann and tell them that the codger sent you. <laughs> oh, by the way, they aren't located in L.A., Lower Thalia? Yeah, they're not there. They're in Upper Thalia, Silver upper Body. Thalia. Okay. You know right where they're at. Yeah. You go through the S curve, you'll see first thing on the other left. Uh, Drew, you owe me for that. And Al went to school with Al. <laughs> hey, they're a good family. I'll tell you what, they've been good to me. All right, Dragons are lining up to kick off to the Falcons. Back deep for the Falcons. Number 20. The Falcons will receive the opening kickoff in the second half. 27 is Book. And I think the other one is uh, Tritton Scout, number 26. Hunt approaches the ball, kicks it down to Left side, and it's taken by number 12. That's J.D. Mattis. And they'll probably start at the 30. Yes. And see Ryan McLean out there and Davin Murray, along with Elias Blankenship on the front line. So we'll have the number six is Oh, um, now Murray is going to be the outside linebacker. I don't, th- I don't think Coach Jackson will play these guys too long. I think he'll start right. subbing in yeah. and right. Maybe, maybe a series here. Dixon fakes a blitz. There's a run by the halfback. Trenton right Scalf. He gets about five on the play. I'll make it about, I'll make it three. It's going to be second down and seven. Did you ever think you were going to see four receivers lined up on both teams? No. No huddle, although. Nice little bunch formation. I've seen that a couple times from Minford. Oh, there's a false start. They're going to call that. I don't know. They're going to call it on all sides on Elias Blankenship. He jumped into the zone and caused the right tackle to come out of his stance a little early. Springs up second down and two yards to go. There's a snap. Cottle, he sprints out left. He's looking. He throws it down to number 27, who's got it. And he's still going. And he fumbles, but it was after he goes out of bounds. Number 27, Mason Book. He's shaking up a little bit, but he's up and on his feet. And we've got a penalty. we got a holding. On the Falcon, so that's going to negate a very nice throw and catch for the Falcons. Look, made coach, a nice run after the catch. This is coach. preseason game, so this is when you want to get all these little penalties out. Right. You know, we had one on Peyton Jackson's big, right, big run he had, so that was called back, and now they've got. We had another one on a, a good pass, so. This is the time to get all work all these things out. Think they Next week, that, just for real. Call that cleaning it up, don't they? That's <laughs> well. What's we the one c- thing that drove you crazy as oh, a coach? It was the no. stupid penalties. Right. You know, sometimes that can cost you a game. Absolutely. 
Cottle takes a snap. He drops straight back. He's looking deep. Now he's flushed to the left. That pass is caught by number five. Very nice catch and run there by Colin Rice, a six foot, 190 pound senior. Dude, did you see the closing speed of Big Ron right there? Big Ron's got some wheels. Pick up the necessary yardage, and it's going to bring up a first down at their own 46 yard line. Trips to the right this time. It's time to hand off to the back. Goes right up off tackle. This is their best run of the evening. That's number 24. Or is that 26? That's 26. Trenton Scalf. Without a doubt, the best run of the evening. And Guess what? 10th mm -hmm. grader. 10th Sophomore. grader. Right. Boy, he hit that hole. Had good vision. And picked up... Uh, Good yardage there. Coach, we had no uh, 10, we had no linebackers 30, there at all. About 40 some plus yards. This time they're going to run the same play, but he's going to be met in there by Ryan Dixon. Dixon takes him down after about a two three yard gain. Coach, I think at last uh, the play before the big uh, play, I think we stunted our linebackers right out of the play. He went right yep. by him. Yep, they caught us blitzing that time. Trips to the left. Scalp in the pistol behind Cottle. He hands it off again, but this time he's met right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a little bit of a loss there on that play. Going to take it back to the 21. Bring up third down and nine. Murray. Devin Murray on the stop with the Dragons. Trips left again. Cottle takes a snap, drops straight back, throws it out here. And he's met by Ron, uh, Lucas Bumpus. Big Ron got him right at the line of scrimmage. Wrapped him up and brought him down. And that'll bring up fourth down and nine. I don't think they'll be kicking here, Coach. I'll tell you, Big Ron's had a good good game today. He yes, really he has, has defensively. Yes, he has. Very impressive. Yes, he has. He's had a really nice outing tonight. Down 26 zip. You expect him to be going for it. Here, fourth and nine. Trips to the right this time. Cottle takes a snap, drops straight back. Now he's getting flushed. And there's a great pass over the middle. Down to the five-yard line. That's going to be a first and goal for the Falcons. Gain of 15 yards on the play. Nice poise by that quarterback. In right, there. he stepped up. Avoided the rush and laid it right on the numbers. This time we're going to have a setback in the backfield between the left guard and tackle. It's number seven, Wesley Zimmerman. This time they hand it to Scalf and he's brought down at about the four yard line, maybe the three. He didn't get much, Coach. No, no, he got down, he's down inside the five. He's going to bring up second down and goal at the four. No gamers at second down and five. This time, we got a tight end to the. No, we don't. Hand off to Scalp again. He's going outside. And, oh, he's met. We uh, got a hold, I believe, Coach, right, right there in the middle. I guess who's on that play again, Coach? Was it Big Ron? Big Ron. Right well, I'll tell you what, defensively, he's had a heck – he's the player of the game he's, so far for he us. He has been all over the field. 
I can't wait to talk to him later tonight and talk and give him some props. He, I, he's had some great closing right. speed, Coach. Yeah. I saw Will Davis in the restroom. I said, that's pretty impressive first catch there, Will. He says, you know, this is the first year I've ever played football. I said, well, 72 yard touchdown reception on your first catch is pretty impressive, young man. This time we've got a wing to the left. Tight end, crosses middle, and uh, that pass is a little wide. That's intended for Zimmerman, number seven. And coach, you know, the, really the place they've had success passing has been over the middle. Right. Uh, Zimmerman's a six foot, 200 pound senior. They haven't seen him much in that tight end set at all. That's going to bring up third down and goal at the 14 yard line. We're going to tie it in to the right this time. Cottle goes left, and he's going to be brought down by you know who. Oh, Davin Murray that time. Wow, well, uh, number six oh, hitting first. Oh, is that Murray? My bad. That's right. Big Ron's number four. Davin Murray, 5'8, 200 pound sophomore. On the sack right there, will bring up fourth down and goal. Well, I'll tell you, Davin's dad, I don't remember if you remember him or not, but that's his dad's Aaron Murray. He played down at South Point and went on to have a good career down at Eastern Kentucky. Wow. I don't know if you I remember him or not, but he's. That name Aaron Murray sounds familiar. Yeah, he, he, was, he was a good back down at South Point. Right. Right. Well, let's talk about the league, Coach. Who do you think, you know, perennial powers usually Ironton? Well, Ironton's still in the league this year. I don't know if folks know or not, but they're going to get out of the league in football next year. They're going to go but independent, aren't they? They're going to go independent in football. But I, I, until somebody can knock Ironton off, they, they, I mean, they have to be the pick. I, I just don't think that until somebody else in the league proves they can knock them down off that pedestal, I still, I still think they're the best. Uh, I tend to have to agree with you. Somebody's got to knock them off. Now, we haven't seen them play. We don't know what they have. Right. We'll know more after next week. I, do they play Wheelersburg next week? That's yes. usually their first You're game. Right. So that'll be a heck of a test because Wheelersburg should be pretty good. You know, from there, I think you still have to look at Gallia. I think we're pretty good. Well, going for it here on fourth and goal. Trips to the right. Cottle takes a snap, throws deep down over the middle, and it's intercepted by Bryson Hunt. And he's got an escort a little bit down the left sideline. He's got the wheels. He steps out of bounds, though, somewhere around the 40. Steps out at the 42-yard line. I think Colgrove's going to be vastly improved, and they were good last year. I think they'll be improved. I think South Point's going to be improved. I don't know about Rock Hill. I think they were. I thought they had some older kids last year. I don't remember. Oh, I remember us doing that game out yeah. there. It was a good ball game. It was a good ball. So I don't know what they have. Uh, you know, Chesapeake. They were young, they very young last year. They're going to be better. Uh, hand off to Quentin. He finds some room. He's breaking free. And he's brought down there oh, at the 30-yard line by number five, Colin Rice. Good hard run. This is at the 31. Dragons on the ball already. Twin receivers. Same play. Good. That's uh, about Quentin's nine. Come out. He's a little tired, Coach. <laughs> Trips right. Oh, there's a pass picked off by number seven. That's Wesley Zimmerman. 
I don't think Peyton saw him, Coach. I just don't think uh, he saw he him. He stepped right in front and picked it off. That's a turnover. Stockings will take over first and 10. Ball on 25-yard line. Well, let's get these turnovers out this week and not next week. Right, you can't make you them know, down there in Portland West. Uh, Portland West is always good. I think, the, I think next week's going to be a good game. Yeah. Portland West was very good last year. And then uh, they come home against Wilson, second game. I believe it's Wilson and is it? And then who, Ironton. Is it Ironton and Tremble? And then Tremble. Then I think the rest is conference games after that. I don't know the order. Well, actually, that's a lie. I do know the order. Yes. All you got to do is grab that phone. Let me look here. I'll tell you folks at home and we'll go through and look at this schedule real quick. Here we go. We've got Portsmouth West next week at Portsmouth West. On the 25th, we play Wellston here at home. On September 1st, we're at Ironton. On the 8th, we play Trimble here at home. On the 15th, we play Rock Hill at home. On the 22nd, we play Gallia Academy here at home. On the 29th of September, we're gonna be at South Point. 10-6, we got Portsmouth at home, and that is our last home game. We'll be senior night, and I believe that's homecoming also. Yes, And is. then on the 13th of October, we got Colgrove. And on the 20th, we, of course, we play the team down the road at their place. There's a handoff. Nice little spin move there by the tailback. Goes off tackle. Number 17, Keegan Rowe, the ball carrier. And Coach, we got Keegan's a new quarterback. 5'8", 175 Curtis pound Glenn, junior. number three, is in there. New quarterback? New quarterback. He's 5'9", 150. You can guess what? He's in the 10th grade also. Curtis Glenn. 5'9", 150-pound sophomore. So, Coach Ruby's given some of his other kids a chance to play here. All right, he's in a tight end set. Ooh, there's a nice hit by number nine. That'd be Xander Collins. Xander's playing a safety. Nice job. Came right. from the inside out. Looks like we've got a whole new secondary in there, Coach. Yeah, they do. It looks like. I think you're correct. Yeah, 25. Luke Ball's in there. Gavin Ballard. 23 is Garrett Massey. Now, Coach. Uh, number nine, Xander Collins. And number 45 is Luke Ball. There's a nice sack for number 62 for the Dragons. Brandon Kirk. That is a big, big loss. It'll be fourth down and 15 yards to go. They're going to punt. Uh, Coach number 25, Gavin Ballard. His nickname is the Judge. The Judge. Oh, oh the that's, Judge. Is that that's Judge? Judge Ballard's son. So yeah. I had him in class, and I didn't call him Gavin. I called him Judge. So it's good to see these guys getting to play right, out there. Garrett, right. Massey, and some of these other guys. You can't get experience unless you get out there and play, Coach. That's right. This is a good job by the coaching staffs. There's a the punt. I'm, the coach, I'm telling you, I'm impressed with their punter. Yes. That was uh, Xander Collins on the punt reception. And it looks like we're going to have a... Uh, Second group in there now. Second group on the offense. Let's see how fast these guys go. I'm going to take a time out and get things lined out. Coach, has been a pretty successful night for the Dragons. They've pretty much done what they wanted to do. If they if you take away the three turnovers. Right. All right, 2-12 left here in the third quarter. Both sides are substituting freely right now. It's like we've got a whole new offensive unit out there for the Dragons. That quarterback, Eli Pine, Coach. 
Yep, I believe that is. Uh, let's see here. Yes, number eight. Eli Pine. Looks like Garrett Massey is going to be the running back, number 23. We got twin receivers both sides. We'll try to get those guys in here. Uh, I think one of them, uh, 45, Luke Ball. I know his grandparents. <laughs> Johnny and Joyce Jones. He's 10th grader. Yes. Dragons are in twins right and left. Pine takes it. It's out here to ball. He's, he's going to run out of bounds at around the 48 yard line. Nice safe pass. Right. Good reception there by Luke. It's time they're going to hand it off. And it's going to be close. Yes. That's Garrett Massey, 5'8", 155-pound freshman running back. And they're going to give him the first down. Ball rested on the 48-yard line of the Falcons. Trip receivers to the right this time. Hands off again to Massey. He's going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a one-yard loss. Like he lost a yard, Coach. Yep. Number 74, Anthony Brammer's coming in. There, Big Ron. There Run he back. is in the backfield. Let's see what he's got. Second down, 11. They hand the ball to Big Ron. He sprints out to the right. He's got the first down. He's, he's headed to the end zone. And he's in for the score. Big Ron Bumper. <laughs> Woo! Look at Bumpus. Oh, left tackle. Man, he hit that hard, hole hard, didn't he? Yes, he did. But he's got some wheels. I yeah, didn't realize he was he kind of kicked that. it in the fifth gear there oh. when he got the sideline. That's going to bring it up to 32 zip. Dragons. Big run. Lucas Bumpus on the 48-yard jaunt. Give it to him again, same play, but uh, I don't think he's going to make it. No, they stopped him this time. Told you, Coach, we got some skill kids. Right. And we got, got some, some speed. speed. I'll just, it's. Big Ron. I think he's going to be our player of the game. I, I'm, he's got my vote, buddy. He's played a heck of a defensive game. Come in on offense, one play, runs a touchdown. Okay, I wanted to bring something up here I don't know that you're aware of. A new um, aspect of our broadcast is going to be sort of like um, – a post-game interview with the head coach Michael Jackson and one or two of his ball players, players of the game, so to speak. That's right. Doug's going to get us a microphone, and right, we're going to get that set up, and that'll be something different for you folks at home. Get to listen to coach and let let talk to a couple of the couple of the kids, and right. That's a uh, new facet of the program that. Uh, we're going to bring you tonight. Might as well get it started off right. And I wanted to tell you, Coach, I talked I talked to a parent yesterday, and she said, well, my husband told me who you were and said, you're the guy that's on there with Mr. Harris. And I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, we sure enjoy your broadcast. And I said, well, thank you for tuning yeah. in. Right. I wanted to give a shout-out to Steve Rutherford. He's camping again. He's always camping. Yeah. Guy. But you don't see the screen he's got set up. He's He said he's glad to. Have us two guys back again. Well, 
Where's he at? Did he tell you? No, he didn't say. Send us a text, Stevie. Well, let us know where you're camping. I know you're listening. Memphis starts out at their own 30. There's a snap. Fake handoff. Quarterback keeps it, and he's got room. He's got 10, 15, about 19 yards on that carry. Nice fake there. Quarterback keep around left end. Went on carry. And that's Curtis Glenn. Drop down by Reese. Picking up the first down all the way out to the Falcon 48 yard line. All right, let's give him the 49. We'll be first down and 10 for the Falcons. Twins right and left. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. Dragons commanding 32-point lead. 32 zip. Coach, any shout-outs? We'll Man, that you know, I could, I could give a bunch probably, but if I forget anybody. I know it. I like to, you know. Uh, you know what yeah, I will I say so this. Many friends. I'm gonna give one to Brandon Johnson. He's a maintenance guy here. If he hadn't been working today, wouldn't you wouldn't have been able to flush the commode or wash your hands in that bathroom a while ago? So Is that big right? shout out to him and I'm gonna shout out to the custodians over at the high school. They worked hard today, come out here and cleaned this place real good and uh, Brother, you know, I try to always be good to the Custodians, the cooks. Absolutely. Oh, and you know what? Those people. Let me tell you. Tremendous let me tell you. Service. Let me brag about the cook at the high school, the, man, the head cook. All right. Who is it? Miss Lori Bragg. Well, it's not Bragg anymore. We went to high school together. But anyway, she does a great job. Uh, Miss Jackson's in there also all the time. I mean, we've really got uh, Kelly's in. I mean, we've really got. we've. Yeah, we we're so lucky here, but we've really got a lot of good people. I saw them. They must have rented three or four of uh, power washers doing all the sidewalks at yes. the high school, at the junior high, and at the east. Excuse I'll tell me, you, not the east, the west. They, I'll tell you, they, they probably uh, were doing it at the east too. Well, I'm I sure didn't they go were. by there, but uh, I thought, wow, what a great thing to do. Clean up those. I know I did my sidewalk and around my pool, and I know what kind of job that is. Same big day yeah, you know over what, there. But they've got those big. Have you seen them coach those yes, big rounds? Yes, they're huge. Oh, I like they that make one it so much nicer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, trips to the right. Alkins starting out first of 15. There's a handoff. Tailback, he's off left tackle. He's brought down there by number 52, 62, excuse me. 62, Brand, Brandon Kirk on the stop. Two yards on that gain. Bring up second and 13. Twins right and left this time. Pistol formation. Oh, the snap. And it's recovered by Brandon Kirk. I think the center drops what, dropped the ball. Something happened there. I know they threw a flag. Or was that just the... Yeah, I uh, think that was the marker to show oh, it was yeah. a fumble. But I know those orange. I wish they had something like... They used to be blue, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Or they threw those... So the Dragon's going to take over. In Falcon territory at the 44-yard line. Eli Pine directing the offense for the Dragons. See, Lennox Holbrook is split out here on the right side. There's handoff. Murray, Number here. six, Davin Murray. He's brought down after our one yard gain. Uh, Go 
Murray on the carry. Devin Murray again, coach. Murray again on the carry. Brought down by again, Hunt. brought down pretty quickly. And uh, no gain on the play. Brings up third down and nine. The judge lines up over on the left. There's a snap. Fine rolls to his left. And he's going to keep it, and he's going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage or drop for a one-yard loss. Actually, bring up fourth down and ten for the Dragons. Be third down and nine. I think that's fourth down, isn't it? Well, it's fourth down, wasn't it? I believe it's fourth down. I believe that down marker is incorrect. Yeah. Uh, he's flipped it over now. Fourth down and nine. There's the pass. Oh. Uh, Sails over the head. In 10 for and Lennox Holbrook. For Lennox takes. Holbrook and dropped. Dropped there by number 24, Ethan Morrison. 6'2", 140-pound junior. Hit him right in the belly. Coach, so the Falcons also, are going to take over at their own 44-yard line. I was looking at our roster. Do you realize how many juniors we have? No. We have a bunch. That's a good thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When we have ten seniors. I mean, if I count it right, we got 16 juniors playing. Wow. There's a snap, a handoff, right up the gut. Good hard run there. Row on carry. And number 17, Keegan Rowe. He gains six on the play, bring up second down and four. Ball resting on the 50 yard line. Christian Bumpus, would he be related to uh, Lucas? I don't know. We got a Christian Bumpus right here in the right corner. Right he corner. might be. I don't I know. Say, I don't know too many. Is he, he's a fr he's a freshman, isn't he? Number. I'd say that's probably Big Ron's brother. Yeah, he would is be a my freshman. guess. Five seven, one hundred fifty pound freshman. Substituting pretty freely now, making sure everybody gets in this game, which is a good thing. Well, experience is the best teacher, Coach. Yes, sir. Can't replace that. Seventy-four, Anthony Brammer. I wonder if he's related to Tony, played for me. Oh, yeah, big Tony. Yeah. Tony wore number 74. There's a snap. It's flushed out of the pocket. Now he's going to keep it and go. And he's going to be brought down by number 76, Braxton Brown. Nice play by Braxton. Brown. Hey, that's Coach, gonna, he's a sophomore. That's going to be now fourth down and three yards to go. Did you ever hear from Steve to see where he was camping? No, I don't. Well, maybe I did. Let me check out. I'm sure he's not camping alone. No. Who knows, Lonnie, Lonnie, Lonnie and the crew might be out there. Oh, there's a sack. And uh, slow to get up for number 76. That's Braxton Brown again. And Dragons will have it first and 10. Ball on the top of the seven yard line.
Don't think we had a center in there, Coach. There he comes. <laughs> Number 73. That's Elias Blankenship. Blankenship. Dragons. Not sure we had 11 on the floor, on the court. There's a nice run, though. For number 23, the freshman, Garrett Massey. Nice run, Coach. Nice move there by the freshman. He read his blocks well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we have eleven. We have trips to the right. And they again hand it off to 23. Garrett Massey. This time he's going to pick up about four. Brings up second down and six. Trips to the left. Pine takes it, hands it off to Massey again. He's going nowhere this time. Matter of fact, he's going to be thrown for a loss on the play. Four minutes on a running clock, Coach. David Murray back in the backfield. And off to Murray. He's still chugging along, but he's going to be short of the first down. He brought down at the 30. Back at the 29. Fourth and five now for the Dragons. Number 53, Isaiah Reese coming into the ball game. Looks like he's going to be playing left guard. Tell you, Coach, you've been impressed with the Dragons tonight. Really have. Oh, that pass oh, dropped for number 25. That's the judge. Gavin Ballard. And we'll give him a hard time. So hit <laughs> you right in the hand, son. I think he heard footsteps, too. Could be. Nice little hook pattern still, in there. Still, right, right, I had him. Had the first down. That's going to bring up first and 10 for the Falcons at their own 30. Well, Coach, I was hoping we'd get to see Big Ron again, but he's got his helmet off. I think he's done for the night. Well, he's, uh, he's been very impressive tonight. Hey, I really he really but, has been impressive. I'm, little, I'm impressed with him defensively. Yeah, let his little brother get some. Experience. Now, I, ho I hope uh, I hope Coach Jackson brings him up here. There's a snap, hits the ground. Quarterback picks it up. He gets what he can, which is almost all oh, about three or four. Two let's, minutes on a running clock, Coach. Uh, let's give him three yards on the carry. Be second down. Uh, how much did you say? Well, it was two when I looked. We're yeah. down to 145 yeah. now. Yep. Trips right. Curtis Glenn takes a snap, rolls to his right, throws it incomplete, intended for number one, Maddox Porter. Low flood pass there, Coach. Mm -hmm. Be third down and seven to go. Ball at the 34-yard line. Doug, is our hot spot still working good? All right. All right. We got twins right and twins left. Then takes a snap, drops straight back, throws it out here intended for number 
26. Trenton Scalf, it's incomplete. Brings up fourth down and seven. And I think you're gonna let it run out, Coach. You're down to 10 seconds. That's gonna be the ball game right there. Lining up at the 50. And that's your ball game. Dragons, 32, Memphis zero. In the foundation game here at Jim Mayo Memorial Stadium. Stay tuned, we'll have uh, Coach Jackson and a couple ball players up here. It's good, I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're gonna get them up. Get to see him. See you, Coach Ward. Take care. Take care. Hey, you better slow that truck down. Uh, Man, well, you gotta I, ride with him. Huh? You gotta ride with him to Myrtle Bridge. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't let any grass grow, does he? <laughs> he gets us there in about I was giving him a hard time this morning. He, he was going to work out at Collins, and I was on my way into work, and he passed me, and he wasn't letting any grass grow, and I... <laughs> <laughs> Got down the stoplight down at the end of the road, and I said, uh, you better slow that thing down. <laughs> that thing will run now, I won't tell you. He said, that's why I got to horses. So we we really need to thank Doug Morris over here. Oh, yes. Producer, Mr. director. Mr. Mr. Do-it-all. That's correct. And he does a great job, too. We got a little celebration down in the end zone. As soon as that's over, I'm sure we'll. Now we're going to play the alma mater. I was talking to Mr. Shu, and I told him, I said, when uh, we started coaching, Coach Gorby and I started this uh, this little tr tradition kind of here, and we got sure. that going. And, uh, you know, I always tell my football players, go thank the band. Go thank the band. They sure. showed up tonight, did their thing, supported you guys. It takes a, it takes everybody to have a successful program. That's right. I talked earlier about supporting staff. They're part of that. I mean, I know they're uh, their own program, but they're here because of the football game. Cheerleaders are here because of the football game. You know, you don't have a football game, you're not going to have a band or cheerleaders. Nothing like Friday nights, Coach. I love it. I love it, too. Have you got any more shout-outs you need to give away? Oh, man. I, you know, there's so many people I think of. I mean, we had our uh, class reunion here the last weekend of July. Got to see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. I always love that part of it. Uh, you know, the guys that they'll be here. Alan Lee Step and his wife Marcella, uh, Phil and his wife Diane. I think it's her name. I'm, I'm gonna get in trouble if I keep trying to remember everybody's name. Jackie Step and his wife Becky. And. Uh, you know, just uh, Mike Wise, and we called him Weasel. Uh, yeah, let's get a little of that cold air running in. <laughs> yeah, we had, to, we had to open that window. It got a little warm up here tonight. Yeah, it did. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah. Well, hey, we got to thank Coach Gorby for redoing this press box up yes. inside. I yes. mean, folks, it, it's nice up in here. and A lot uh, more room and a lot more air. Uh, we have electrical outlets <laughs> it's, that uh, work and lights that work. Yeah, I didn't notice those outlets up there. Oh, all. yeah, they added some new outlets. They got one down here. I mean, look at this new countertop they put up for us. I know. I, I feel bad. I'm going to mark on it. <laughs> Are you going to put your name on it like no, the kids? No, I'm just going to put the codgers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Coach Gorby's already told me he got some, some interesting stuff coming up for uh, – for the codgers i'm not i'm not gonna let we're not gonna let it out what it is but 
Well, I don't know what it is. Folks at home, you guys will find out, and I think you all get a good laugh out of it. I hope they're headed up this way. Huh? Yeah, here he comes. All right. Coach, you want to hit he's that got, light switch uh, up there behind you? He's got Ryan Dixon with him and uh, Ethan Stewart. All right. Let's hit uh, that switch there, and we'll maybe right. help Doug out get some. Uh... That help, Doug? Yeah. Doug, you might as well come over and be on the screen with the rest of us. <laughs> well, there congratulations. Congratulations. Pull your chair up here, guys. All right, I got some questions I got to ask you, man. Yeah, we. <laughs> See these two guys pulled out on GT, man. Did you see the way they pulled on GT? Congratulations, on guys. Hey. Killed them. Are we on now? Yeah, okay. we're on. Uh, well, we're going to get you a, a mic. microphone here, okay. Coach, and right. you, you guys, guys can talk. Have your seat. Get you another chair. You guys come up here. Y'all, Ryan, Big E, you guys sit down here. We'll get Doug get you on here. Coach Jackson, we'll give you the microphone. and. That's right. All right. All right. First Y'all question. <laughs> well, congratulations. So I thought you were awful impressive on both sides of the football. Uh, you made a few mistakes, but uh, that's stuff you can clean up, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's why you have these games, clean that stuff up. You know, I'm talking about the turnovers. Right. But uh, I want to know how you get those plays in fast. Hey. These guys work hard every day in practice, I'm telling you. I know, hey. but I want to know what kind of signals you're giving. Has somebody got a <laughs> microphone in there? Well, Lou looks like what? Mike Leach out there. He's got his little <laughs> paper, and then we, he's. Uh, hey, we had a plan on the day that, uh, the, the day we took over. We right. had a plan, and we've, uh, we instituted it, and we ain't backed off from it. And, uh. I, I, I thought it was oh, very right. impressive. Did you come watch our practice? I kept watching you trying to see where's this signal coming in. <laughs> what hey, in the world? You know, we got the players that can do it. We got a bunch of skills. We got line. We've you got preached speed and too, preached buddy. to them about we're going to break the other team's wheel. That's yeah. what we want to do. Well, I was telling Coach earlier that uh, that's got to wear on a team. Mm -hmm. By the fourth quarter, they've got to be sucking all the oxygen yeah. off the field. I'm Do, telling these, you. these linemen will tell you we live on Irene, don't we? Oh, we Y'all know what Irene is. Irene? Oh. Irene's a sled. That's what we live on. <laughs> we push it for seven seconds at a time, and we don't – it's nonstop. Yes, sir. I, I'm going to tell you, I love the sled. Oh, yeah. you know, Can't beat it. The, I mean, and the, the mistakes you're talking about, the fumble, Q, you know, he knows better than that. And well, I coach, saw the rest of the time he had two hands on the ball every time. The rest, the rest of the game. That. The yes. rest of the game. Um, the, the one interception is a 50-50 ball, nothing, but that's a ball as we expect our receivers to come down with. Right. You know? And then the other one's a tip ball. Was uh, it tipped or did Peyton even see the guy? I didn't the, think – The lineman got his hand up. Did he? Uh, I didn't uh, know. if It looked but, to me like Peyton didn't even when, see the guy standing there. I don't know how many plays we ran in the first half. A bunch. But when you run that many plays, you're going to have a tip ball. You know what I mean? Sure. So, don't get me wrong. We don't want that to happen, but it's going to happen. Oh, man. So, but here's the thing. What, how long did it take us to go 90 yards, Coach? <laughs> My goodness, I said it was 95. How long it yeah. takes? I mean, you got the ball at the 10, and then you got a fumble or something, and, and we recovered on the 5, and then the, we didn't even count. But I thought, Lord have mercy, how fast. Well, here's the thing. I told him, I said, your best defense is an offense that can stay on the field. Right. Keep them off. And you all did a real – I felt like you all did what you wanted tonight. Other than the turnovers, I mean, defensively, you guys played great. That's what, I, got, mean, I don't know how many three and outs we had, but we had quite a few. Yes. Played well. We, we gave up a couple big plays. That quarterback's a good athlete. He was a – Right, he got you on a – State and track. I mean, he's a fast kid. Yeah, so, he's just sophomore. Yeah, very athletic kid. So, right. Uh, and they they weren't playing the one running back. He's a good running back. Uh, he's tweaked his hamstring. 36. Um, but, yeah. you know – I think, uh, but our team still did what they were supposed to do. Shrek, yeah, Randall Shrek. Now y'all look. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Look pretty good for foundation game. I'm not gonna, you know. You all, you all were clicking. I, well, mean, I thought your three, four defense was just. Yeah. I mean, they didn't get nothing between the tackles until we got. I think they got a nice run out of their second unit uh -huh. off tackle. A little fresh. Well, I think really, two coach the only yards they gained. I think you were gaming. I think you were on a stunt, and I think you yeah. ran by. Right. Right. You know. That was the only play that they really gashed us, and that was just because that uh, we we'll blame it on Hinkle. That's right. <laughs> These guys, our run game, we we run a play called GT. You know, guard tackle. 
Uh, well, that's what I noticed you all run that a lot. They can talk about it, whatever. Them two guys right there was men today. On that oh, I got to give a shout out to one guy who we we talked a lot about, and we think he played a great game defensively and offensively. <laughs> ends up scoring a touchdown was Lucas Bumpus. Oh, big, yeah. big wrong. Big yeah, wrong. Yeah, hey, yeah. he played he, a great he took game. That big force on defense. On the yes, he was running people um, down. And, oh, outside linebacker Garrett Spence has tweaked his ankle. So that's why he wasn't in there that much. I know it. I, I, so we, we yelled his name out well, several yeah, times. Yeah, but I'm telling you, he was Luke, like special Lucas, team player of the year last year. Lucas he just got a little tweak, and we don't want to make it worse. Right. No, no, I'm telling you, but Lucas, we watched him play defense, and his closing speed coach. I didn't know he had. Of course, he was hurt last year, right. and we didn't get to see him. He's, but I don't know if y'all know he's a state champion powerlifter too. Is that right? Kid. Wow. He is, too. State champion powerlifting. Well, I've seen this guy. He put together. Oh, yeah. I'm well, tell us about GT, guys. Yeah, GT. Uh, we have two different plays. Two different plays. Uh, we can engage the defense. Yeah. Uh, we can Works, well, I noticed I, Big E, I think was it you got the good seal blocks on the inside. I mean, we watched that. You were kicking out, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You were kicking out. You were sealing on the inside. Uh, you gashed him several times. It's like times. a counter tray with no counter. No. That's really what they're talking about, the well. GT coach. Yeah. Well, we it, have a counter off of it. We like it too much. How's your health, big guy? Yeah, I'm doing we good did, this year. We did great. not see you much last year. No. I'm glad to see you out there. Yeah, feeling good this year for sure. You guys got to stay healthy. That's that's the yeah, big yeah. thing. I mean, really? you got ten long weeks ahead of you, and right. Did we have any uh, any injuries any injury tonight? Um, Dylan Dil Dil Stone had a back spasm, but he said by the end of the game he was feeling better. So yeah. hopefully that's yeah. But I'm gonna tell you what. I watched him come out. But you know what? Elias Blankenship played a heck of a game because he came in there and I watched him. He was pounding people downfield. Now well, these guys will tell you we, we want to be nine deep on our line. We yeah. think we can be eight or nine deep. Yeah. To go that fast, we have to be. Yes, sir. Right. You know what well, I mean? Your defensive line, did, uh, front three, you uh, – Yeah, they don't score on offense, so that's what we're trying to do is start now. Well, I'm telling you, they just dominated the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Uh, well, it's nice when you don't have to play Ironman right. football. Exactly. Got, you know, this guy's not sitting in there and playing offense and defense right. all the time, or, you know. We got three corners playing two corner spots, so we're trying to rotate. We got three safeties playing two safety spots, and then – uh, we got. We feel like we got six linebackers that we can play at the forward linebacker spot. Well, they really filled the gaps well because you, you know I was thinking about the three four versus the four three, and uh, man, you sold me on it tonight. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, really, I mean they, maybe, they filled maybe. the gaps well, and uh, from tackle to tackle, they didn't get much except that one play when this guy ran out of the way. Coach, huh? Coach Hinkle does a great <laughs> job with with uh, our defense. That's his. Uh, you know, we talked about it. He yeah. sold me on it. Well, I'll tell you, I think, always thought high school football, defensively you have to be gap sound. You have to have all eight gaps covered because if you don't, one mistake, right. you know. And we had that one mistake. We had a stone on, the one where they gashed us down the field there long. Right, right. I'll have to go back on film and see. Well, that's the thing about stunts. Right. You know, sometimes when they work, we'll, we'll fix that. it's a great call. And when yeah. they don't, it's just. That, that, that I told him we was going to blame it on Hinkle. That's right. <laughs> no, we just, we just we had somebody in the wrong gap, but that's something we can fix. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, really impressive. And, uh, I, okay, I we're going to be down in Portsmouth West yeah. next oh, weekend. Really? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to have a little pregame show. You'll have to show up for that. Uh, you can give us five really minutes. Enough, we'll, 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 well, we got to stop and fill, 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 you know, fill or, oh, well, oh, you already have. <laughs> I don't know you going to the river. Do you want me to go to the river? Yeah. You want me to bring you uh, piece I got a steak. question for you. I want to ask you about your kicking game. Yeah. Your ex, uh, Aiden Miller, is that correct? I made that comment. I told right. him. I, I thought, told him. I said, there's only one thing I think they need to work on, and that's extra point. It will look a lot better next week. Look, <laughs> yeah. I think at uh, Fairview, he did, he, what was he, four for five at Fairview? Yeah. And, wow, that's pretty and, uh, 80% is pretty good. Yeah. So when Aiden told us about going to be here, Peyton's like, I can kick. Well, he made him pre game, yeah. but he didn't make him. I He's thought like, that was Peyton. You know, <laughs> was, but we just threw it out there for fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nothing. Well, I was nothing. also happy that you got so many people. I think everybody dressed played, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Every, yeah. Everybody yeah. played. Um, we had one kid that was out of town. So today, like, made his last day of acclimation. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't out to hit. Oh. So right. he didn't get in, but next week he'll be ready to go. 
Right. So, well, that's a plus for you. you know, we were talking about you don't get experience unless you get to play. Right. And, uh, that's I a want plus to go two series, but uh, I think uh, – I think you did the right thing. He only wanted to go one, so that's good. We got out, no injuries. A few mistakes we made and stuff we can fix. And, uh, right. I come out of it knowing more about in the shape I want to be in, but I think we can go just a notch better. I told him, I said, usually this time of year when the sun's out and it's a little bit warm. Nobody cramped, did it? Not one. That right. tells and us that you're is in a shape. credit yeah. to you, brother. Yeah. Hey. And uh, I told these guys I'm going to push you like nothing they've ever been pushed. Yeah. They just have faith in us. Have faith in us, and uh, they they bought in. That's what I told him. I said uh, he was talking about how we changed the way the game was played back in 1993, and I said, "Well, you don't you don't do that unless everybody buys in." Exactly. And everybody bought in, and it looks like these guys have bought into what you're doing. Yeah. I just got to figure it out a little better. Well, right? next <laughs> you guys, this our, he was my first coach, yeah. one of my coach was in here, yes, and this is our 30 year anniversary of that yeah. year. So now I'm coaching the first yeah. year on our 30-year anniversary. That's pretty cool. Right? Yeah, awesome. that is. That is. Really cool. I'm gonna tell you what. It's uh, it's uh, highlight of my coaching career. 1990. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I appreciate the way you guys bought in and, and said, "Hey, we like this." <laughs> I told you pregame, we made to have fun, didn't we? Yeah, it? absolutely. I loved it. I mean, uh, but it don't I, go without guys up front. Right. Uh, you know I'm I mean? still can't figure out what. How you get in the formations that you hear? <laughs> we, we literally, we don't do one drill in practice in a sprint. It's, I mean, everything we do is always going to be And and I'll tell you great. right now, big guys like you, that is a plus, baby. Yes, sir. And we, we we go fast enough to stay long to do it. I try to keep it at two yeah. hours. Yes, sir. We, we don't go very seldom. We go over two hours yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I right. wanted to commend you on the field too. It looks great. yeah, it looks great. It's been a lot of work, a lot yeah. of mornings, a lot of nights. Yeah. But, but I think it's the best it's looked in a long time. Oh, absolutely. A lot of days on it. But, uh, we said we might even show up on a Thursday night. <laughs> well, yeah, for old we're times' sake. Nights. Oh, we're going we're gonna to show up one of those nights. Uh, now, nice remember, night. we show up, you're buying pizza. I'm I mean, gonna, that's, that's, gonna, that's hey, the deal. Hey, 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 Warren, everybody in the community, come down. Yeah, we'll have right. a good time. Yeah. Uh, I'd right. love Thursday nights. We'll, we'll make it a community night. Right. Have fun. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this before we get off here. Can you tell us a little bit about Portsmouth West? Have you have yeah. you had a time to look at anything? Or? Yeah, we went to Chillicothe last week and watched the scrimmage. And uh, they're, they're, they're P. West, you know. Solid. Solid team, fundamentally strong, um, swarm to the football. Yeah. They um, got a good tailback. They moved one of the receivers to quarterback. They got a good athlete, Bishop, number 18. Uh -huh. They try to get the ball in his hands. But um, – I'm excited for the challenge, but you know as well as me, 30 years ago, we was the first team to beat P. West. 30 and years, I was year, getting ready to tell you, 30 years ago this coming Friday night, well, we had to play down there. That's right. And we beat them 18 to nothing, and Jackson scored on a power six bootleg run. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, the way all season goes, and we beat P. West, we usually have a good year, right? Yeah, absolutely. P. Uh, West is a good standard to hold yourself to. Absolutely. They got a good program down there. That's a and, solid start, Coach. Yeah. And, uh, I'm glad they're back uh, to week one. You know, the, uh, one play some of my coaches weren't happy with tonight was uh, our quarterback. He don't like to go down, does he? I'm going to tell you, that run he made is too bad it got called back because that was impressive. It's all good. Coach, it's hard for him to get out of bounds. you think he's going to get out of bounds, Coach? <laughs> he must have ran 95 <laughs> yards on a 70-yard touchdown. But, uh, but you know, uh, he, uh, we, we tell him we don't want him hurt, but that just ending to play that way. You well, he I mean? laid a lot of balls in there that uh, and, uh, some should have been caught. Well, well you, we'll know, that, that. you, you oh. talk about him not wanting to go down, but you got to remember his father played quarterback and middle who was linebacker. That? Who was that? I wonder who that was. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want you to tell he gets in a fight with Coach Hinkle every practice, and he wants in on defense. Y'all know. <laughs> I love him. But not to put words in these guys' mouth, but that's one of the reasons they love him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Because – but that's you know, that's the best thing, Coach. What if he goes in there and lays a big lick on somebody and that shoulder I know. goes out? We, know. we can't have that. I know. We can't. He's too important to our offense. Right. But uh, these guys take care of him. And, oh, yeah. and uh, Yes, the pass we, protection was super you know, what, One sack? Many yeah. plays, we get what, one sack? Right, one, one sack. Like you know, most times we're going to pass the ball. We're going to have bad balls, we're going to have sacks. You know what I mean? We know that. 
Right. You don't. You don't gonna go as many plays uh -oh. as we do and not have. Some I want to tell you that I really like that uh, one touchdown pass you set up with the two little quick hitters out here to the left, oh, yeah. and, and then the next one was a fake out there. Run the fox pass. That's, <laughs> I don't know. That's what we call it. I don't know what you all call it. Heavy plays gotta have a counter, right? Yes. Yes. You gotta have something off of everything. Off every yeah. Well, you guys did a tremendous job. But you got to get better every week. Every week. Right. Right. Every week. We talk about every day, don't we? When don't, it was every week, we say every day. Don't be satisfied. That's the key. Don't be satisfied. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks for coming. Guys, thanks for coming thanks in, for Big E. Thanks for staying. Dix, yeah. we appreciate it. Thank guys, you, guys. Go get them next week. Yes, sir. Thank we'll you. be there. Yes, sir. Good hey, job. Good All righty, you job, too. Good job. Well. Coach, I guess we're going to wrap it up from here. Doug, right. come over and let's see you. Let everybody see you, Doug. Come on. Dragons, 32. Mighty men for Falcons. Zip. That's going to do it for us. I'm Jack Harris along with Dave Carroll and Doug Morris, and we'll see you next Friday night. That's all right. Good night, everyone. Good night, everybody.